Welcome back, everybody. All this week, a KXLY4 news crew has been flying with Fairchild Air Crews deployed in Kyrgyzstan. Photojournalists Tim Martin and Jeff Humphrey are at the Manaus Training Transit Center, the gateway to U.S. operations in Afghanistan. Tonight, Jeff shows us the hard work that goes into making every refueling mission possible. The Manaus Transit Center is a very busy place. 37,000 troops pass through here every month, and none of that flying would happen without Fairchild air tankers and the men and women who maintain them. The flow of passengers and cargo into the Manaus Transit Center never stops. Everything the military needs, from dogs to the latest in de-icing equipment, has to be airlifted here, and the crews who keep these planes flying are some of the base's most valuable players. We try to stay on top of it, have people ready to go at all times, and get it fixed as quickly as possible and up in there. Mechanics assigned to the 12 tankers that Fairchild now has in Kyrgyzstan work 24-7. Dustin Harder volunteered to give this plane its 120-hour checkup. We keep the motors running so these guys can go out and fuel the fighters and so they can do, you know, 24-7 nonstop. Finding quality jet fuel in Kyrgyzstan isn't easy. The Air Force buys it from a local company but then has to test every batch before pumping it into this series of bladders. We use a lot of fuel and uh, we take it serious. Uh, we do all the necessary steps to make sure it's clean, make sure we don't have any problems because uh, a lot of people relying on us. And premium gas is important when you're refueling the fighters supporting troops on the ground in Afghanistan. Air crews know they couldn't even take off without the help of their maintenance teams. Yep, they work very hard in long hours, so we appreciate it. We get a good product to put in the air, so we put fuel to the fight. And so now it's time to see how this around-the-clock maintenance program is put to work. We'll be taking you up as Fairchild Air Crews refuel fighter jets over Afghanistan. That story is coming.